Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Marvel Future Revolution video. We're gonna be talking about something. Um, it was funny, I was gonna do a video the other day, just kind of a general, like, life thing. It was a little weird and I just wasn't able to because of some stuff. I'll probably get into a little bit of that. But more importantly, the game and fun. I I've been hearing and seeing, and I saw another post this morning that they said that you know, the game was just not fun for them. So I was just thinking about that. I'm like, I wonder why that's the, why that is like, why am I having so much fun and other people aren't like, what are things that you can potentially do to have fun in this game? So I'm going to talk about some of that. Uh, you know, look, it's so, fun is subjective. Let's just be upfront with that right away. But I, I want to explore this. Um, and I really want to hear from you guys about specifically why you don't think it's fun or what you'd need to make it fun or why you are having fun because i think there's a whole range of people in that situation and you know look nothing's ever going to be perfect somebody's always going to be unhappy with something but having said that i think it's still worth a discussion so i'm, I'm going to hit that today i'd love for you guys to be part of that conversation i've got a discord link in the description below come there it's probably the easiest way to chat uh and get a hold of, you know sometimes you know youtube co comments and all the things get a little goofy and hard to follow but that's it. Obviously, hammer down like buttons, notification bells, subscription button, all that kind of thing. So let's dive into this. Bring me Wolverthor. So fun, fun, fun. So first, uh, you know, let me just hit the top. Like one of the things I was going to say the other day, like I've, for anyone who's not familiar, I've been moving cross country, you know, taking my family, you know, uprooting my family on one side. My wife lived in this one area for her entire life. Uh, we moved back to where I, a uh, central area where I grew up and it was just kind of been a, you know, like anything like that would be a stressful time. So for me, you know, I was, and we had this big drama with, you know, we got under contract for a house and these people disclose something later and it's a health hazard issue. And I actually thought, you know, hey, we're doing you guys a favor here, letting you know how bad this is because they weren't aware. They were, um, I'll say, a little bit seasoned individuals. So, you know, I thought, hey, you know, human being to human being, but they were very just and I'm like, man, why are why are some humans just like this to each other? Like, why can't we just have ways to sort of, you know, be kind, be nice, you know, what, anyway, whatever that. So I, I was going to do this video just about like, I hope everyone had a great Halloween and went out and trick or treated. If you have kids or don't have kids, I just, I love Halloween while it might be a gluttonous, you know, uh, holiday. I do find that it's just wonderful to go out and do, you know, and for me, that's fun walking around a neighborhood i used to live in a big city it was hectic stressful making sure the kids were around around all these crowds of people and i went back to what i was used to when i was growing up where i was just walking around calm neighborhoods you know and letting the kids run up the door so anyway that was fun right so that to me is fun and the other version uh, might of, of in a bunch of people walking around that might be fun to somebody else so that's that really does tie into sort of where uh the subjective nature of fun is kind of out there right so specific to this game, right? Nobody came here to hear a life lesson from me. If you did, uh, hit me up on Discord and we can talk about life. That'd be awesome. So, you know, look, there's a ton of game modes. There's different things. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Half Send. Uh, he's come up with multiple videos. He's a buddy of mine. I call my soul brother. He did this great video uh, discussing ways to improve the game. You know, things from Blitz and making each Blitz tier the ability to upgrade it to whatever the highest level cap is uh first off i think that's a great idea you know it's sort of one of those things where one you want to i mean you've got all these collections right in game so if you come in game you've got you already have these collections here where it's like like for instance battle badges level 20 guess what i don't have all of these done and guess what i'm never i'm not going to go down to you know this level to run it level 30 the same thing level 40 same thing 70s 80s uh, it looks like even 100 I didn't finish. So um, 105 I'm currently running and hopefully I can get that one. But, um, you know, so I can't finish those. So and I'm never going to pay to run down there to get rewards. So I sort of like that idea where, you know, you get and, and, and actually on top, we were talking about this the other day. 
what it really the way these you know uh let's see what are the are there set bonuses for these let's just look real quick so the set bonuses uh no so these don't look to appear to have set bonuses like wow really i thought all of them, maybe they don't but you know it would be nice to have similar to you know some of these dark zone battle badges where it's uh yeah these level hundreds they eventually get set bonuses maybe the lower ones could too you know what i mean like this badge could drop from the kingpin blitz you know and same thing with this one where um or i guess let's stay on this the uh the modok badge you know this defense could drop from the modok blitz because the dark zone rewards in my opinion need to be reworked period it is not worth anybody's time to be in there um and to tie into fun you know the reason i like dark zone so much is because i'm in there with all my alliance mates on voice chat and it's fun. I like talking to them, even though we're all different personalities. We do things in the game very differently. I find the camaraderie, the partnership, the discussions. I have fun talking with these people, getting to know these people. Uh, I, I went from, and I'm in the Alliance X Force on Omega Flight. I went from raging against these people. Stop killing me. And, da -da, and they're like, we're not trying to, we're running around. We've got a, we've got this system we do. And you know, some people are on auto and clicking around the map, etc. to running with them outside of our alliance, listening to them in voice chat and going, oh, well, there might be a couple people who do like to kill people. Like for the majority, they're just trying to do their thing. And I just got to know some of them and talk and listen. And now it's like I, every night I play the game, every night I want to jump on voice chat. I want to, I enjoy it. There are some people in the Alliance who um, I think they'd even admit like in past li past gaming lives, we were probably on like opposite sides of things. Um, maybe not like the most buddy buddy. And like, I really enjoy hanging out with some of these people because they're just, they're fun. They're smart. They're good gamers. Um, we like to give each other hard times about everything, the whole group. Like, and I'm just like, wow, this is a really good time. So. To me, the biggest thing that I want to put on this is, you know, if try to find if your if your alliance is struggling with participation and you want to be part uh, like more involved, I would highly recommend moving alliances because to me, that's one of the biggest aspects of fun in the game is talking with my alliance, competing with my alliance, competing uh, my alliance versus another alliance, and being able to work together with them. I think the game is still sort of in uh flux with what it's doing you know another thing that half send and a bunch of us have been talking about too just like you know when are they going to do a huge marketing push right like it, they've done some but like what else is going on so you know the other game mode stuff um battle challenge again how shout out to my soul brother why isn't there an infinite number of levels on this like let it go up to infinity basically and you know see like whoever gets the furthest that's the true champ as opposed to like going back here and like trying to refine time on level 20 you know to get three seconds faster you know like that's not super fun whereas you know seeing if you can get you know low i mean and that might be a way to make points up but if you get to level 120 that's better right so you know and there is a pay to win dynamic there that could be a problem i guess for some but i think that you know if you're skilled as well maybe you could still compete and finish those later levels so i i did like that concept uh most wanted is sort of what it is it's not great it's not bad i mean it's something i do every day special ops a lot of people have soured on this game mode i still do it because of this the sin particle i need it for crafting so i just do it but it'd be sort of nice to have them rotate special ops with maybe invasion um or you know just more rotations of different special ops types i i don't know i'm not sure on that one raid isn't too bad but to me raid this is what i actually call a blitz nor more i think the raid and the blitz are two similar game mode types the blitz is a um it, the blitz is closer to a dungeon crawl but it's not a dungeon crawl I would like them to add a dungeon crawl and I'm going to keep saying this until the game goes over, you know, or until, you know, I don't know, whatever. I just, you know, the PVP dynamics aren't too bad. I actually sort of enjoy those. I'm looking for, uh, forward to the Alliance aspect of that. Um, but I think the biggest thing is 
make sure you've, you're in an alliance that like just makes sense with you. Get into something where you can potentially be on. Even if you can't talk, we have a bunch of people in voice uh, chats every night who can't necessarily talk because they're doing something or whatever, and they can't have conversations with us, but they're listening and they can type in chat and whatever. And I just think that stuff's fun. I don't know. Like being around them talking, I literally want to be at my computer most of the day and say like, who's on? Like I'm, I'm going to check on my discord right now. Is anybody on voice? Okay, no, nobody's on voice right now. But if I got on there, would anyone else hop on? You know, and would anyone else hop on? And then all of a sudden, we got three or four or 15 people all sitting there chatting. Now, sometimes when there's 20 people in there, it's sort of hard to have a conversation, but whatever. I still love them all, and it's great to chat. So, I, you know, look, the, the, the game improvements can be there. You know, you've got the bugs and stuff like that. That comes with games. I hate saying that because if you pay for something, you expect good service, right? And I agree. You know what I mean? Anybody who's paying good service, I mean, there's stuff that I've been talking with some Alliance made about their characters being broken, you know, and not working. And that's something I got to dive into and look through some videos on and try to show like, hey, look, like this is broken. Like, what is the problem here? Let's fix this. Um, and I understand where it's like, this isn't fun because my character's not working how it should be. And I spent, you know, X amount of dollars to get it to this level. And all of a sudden, r randomly, it's not as strong as it used to be. So those things need to be cleaned up. Um, you know, some of the improvements that have sent, and I highly recommend checking out his video on it, uh, where the, he gives some suggestions for some game modes. I, I tapped into that briefly, but you know, to me, I, I look for escapes, right? Right now, this game is an escape for me. I enjoy running around while I'm autoing this, the harder, this is like super low level content for me. So the content I can't auto, it's fun and enjoying time with my friends from the game is fun. You know, talking to them is fun. I stay up way too late talking to them, just shooting the breeze, right? One so, more tidbit I want to throw in. Um, I'm going to clip this in. I said this when Soft Launch was out, and I'll say it again now. Is like, pace yourself. Pace yourself. If I mean, Unless you don't want to, and you know that you're going to get bored, okay? And you're okay with that. The If you just burn through everything and pay or, and or pay a bunch of money to hurry through something there is a chance that you are going to burn out and or get bored so if you know you're like that and you know you can have that happen do your best to pace or make it a challenge to do that to for yourself so i just wanted to say that one thing as well i still have two characters to finish leveling and i started at soft lunch my captain america i think is level 87 ish now and my iron man is level zero i haven't even started him all right. And I play this game basically every single day. Right. So that's what I got. I mean, I, like I said, I, this is sort of an open dialogue. I wanted to have a video out on it. You know, I was going to do the other one the other day, but the whole life drama stuff, I needed to take care of some things there. And it, it just sort of meshed into this. So I, I'd love to, like I said, I'd love to hear from anybody who's got some thoughts, comments, you know, as long as I, I want it constructive, you know, if it's just like, oh, this game sucks, I hate it. It's like, okay, well, tell me why. Like what, what specifically are you not liking about it yes the rng i i'll tell you right now i do not like the high levels of rng in this game period you know i just don't um but i still somehow find ways i don't know anyway subjectivity that's all i got i'm gonna stop talking now please do let me know in the comments below the discord whatever i'd love to hear back from you guys hammer down like buttons notification bells subscribe if you like uh we'll obviously keep doing uh content in the future for you know helpful type stuff as opposed to just this sort of thing but uh appreciate you guys stopping by and if you made it this far thank you until next time i hope you have a wonderful day